Hi, it's Kristen from Proud Scraps. I am going to be sharing my guest designer kit from the Wild Hair Kit Club. I'm very excited, very honored to be a guest designer. This is a first for me, and hopefully not the last. I'm really, this is really exciting for me. Um, I gotta say, I loved this kit. I loved it. I love it, and I can't wait. I don't want to rush the month of December, but I really can't wait to use all of this stuff. It's very nice. Um, it's my little note from Allison. Happy crafting. Happy holiday crafting. Um, after I did my profile, I sent Allison a little note and I said, you know, if you have the Teresa Collins large chipboard letter words, if you wanted to throw those in, that would be awesome. And she did. Very nice. Excited to see those. I've seen a lot of videos using them, especially Mercy Tierra's. I love her style and her um, what she does. These are very cool too. Gold foil, wood grain. Um, they're almost like wood veneer, but they have adhesive on the back of them. And these letters are funky and cute. And I have a very similar alphabet from a different sticker sheet, so I think I could use them together. Some Echo Park bows. They're dimensional, so those will be nice. So I don't mind a bulky December daily. These are the journaling cards from Pink Fresh Studio, and I am not using a pocket page for my December daily this year. I'm using a traveler's notebook that um, is, actually has black paper. So I'm kind of excited to try something different. Typically, I would use a six by eight album with the pockets, and they have the two by three or I mean 3x4 pockets for these cards, <clears throat> excuse me. But I also think it's very neat when you use these cards as old journaling spots. You can trim them down if you just want the, you know, the picture, the statement on there. Or you can use them as a flipping, an interactive part of your notebook. And it's also a place I tend to take a lot of pictures. And it's also a place you can hot you can you know add more pictures on the back side if you make it like a flip. So I'll have to wait and see. I don't know yet. So many ideas are spinning in this head of mine. I don't know what I'm going to end up creating. These have nice gold accents as well. <clears throat> I really like silver, but for Christmas time I'm okay with gold and silver. I like the colors. Everything will go well with the black. I think everything goes with black, but... Very cute. And these are the cut files for the month. I don't personally own a silhouette or a cameo or a Cricut or anything like that to cut cut files. So it was very nice that she included these in my kit so that I can still enjoy them. There's another one coming up. Peel and flares. I love flares. And all oh, these. These are very cool. Um, they're little cork Christmas trees or pine trees. And I like that they are various sizes. They're not all exactly the same size, so that's kind of nice when you're making a little cluster or something to have the different heights. And you can paint these or spray them or leave them with cork. I have some ideas. Let's see what I come up with. So many ideas. Just excites me to see all these fun things. I'm opening up a little packet of flares. I had told Allison that I was also at the same time working on a November daily that were just selfies of myself or ma mainly focused around myself and one of my main accents was going to be cameras. I was very pleased to see all these little camera flares. Really fun to use. I haven't quite finished that book yet. Okay, I haven't really actually started it. <laughs> Let's be honest here, but it will get done. These are very pretty. Um, Echo Park, Deck the Halls, they have the gold accent as well, or gold foil on them. And I think here's when I'm going to whip through the paper. I go way too fast, but I have them next to me so I can tell you what they are. Oh, I lied. It's the thankful cutout. 
I like that too. I haven't used it yet, but I have an idea for it. Oh, and some candy cane striped washi tape. Love that. There's that beautiful red paper. That's from A, a Perfect Winter by Echo Park. I really like that one. And the next one is also, that's the back side. Next one's also from Echo Park, A Perfect Winter. Red is my favorite color. I love everything about this paper. And then she knows I'm doing a black accent, so she included this Welcome Home from Cartabella with the wood grain on the back. And the next one is from Twas the Night Before Christmas from Echo Park. Pretty red snowflakes on the back. And the house paper is from Sweater Weather, American Crafts. And then the numbers, 25 days, is from Chamel, Gooder Girl. And then this pretty, these um, stars are red, or gold foil. And that's also from Chamel, Glitter Girl. And then here's my little, my invoice, my little note from Allison. Just acknowledging that she read my information that I put on the website and took it all into consideration when she put together my kit. And I love it. And I think it's very thoughtful. And I hope you'll see many videos from me in the next few days. Thanks for watching.